So today's job is to replace the fan in this T300 wheelbase. Um, the bearing, what sounds like the bearing of the fan is starting to go out. Um, it's quite, because I keep this on uh, force cooling all the time as well, which probably didn't help, but it's quite a common modification slash upgrade and it's a common thing to fail. So this is the fan I'm replacing it with. Um, it's a Noctua fan, there's the code, about £14 off Amazon, so not bad at all. Um, there's the specs, you can pause the video if you're interested. So I'm going to take the wheel rim off, obviously, um, and uh, take all the, the relevant screws out, and then I'll continue the video when the case is off. Actually, I figured I'll just demonstrate the problem first. So I'm going to plug this into my laptop. Oh great, and now it's it's not even making the noise. <laughs> so that's not a good demonstration, but basically intermittently it makes this really awful screeching sound. Um, which is definitely the fan. Um, so yeah, I'll just crack on and let you know how it goes. And here it is without the case on. Um, it's actually really easy to reach this stage. I thought some of the screws would be different length, but they're not. As you can see, they're all the same with the same head on them, so you only need one screwdriver. Um, and here's the problem, this poxy little fan. Um, the bearings are going on it so whenever the fan comes on which in my case is all the time because I keep it on forced cooling mode um, it intermittently makes this awful noise like um, kind of sounds like a vibration it's the best way I can describe it so all I need to do now is disconnect the fan um, take that screw out that red one and then that one out and then the fan mount will come out and then just put the new fan on there's another guide um, showing exactly this um, on YouTube, so I'm not really going to go into much detail. Just watch that video if you want more specific installation um, tips or whatever. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the new fan in position and probably turn it on as well. And that's it. So I'll get back to you once it's all installed. So just, just something to note is the, um, the stock screws these which came off the original fan um they're not long enough to go through both of those holes and into the uh bracket so you basically have to have it in this kind of setup just going through one of them i've also stuck some 3m tape on the bottom there which sticks to the the bottom of the fan just for some added security and cut down on vibrations a bit the if you put the stock bolts in this kind of setup um they don't clear the plastic body here they won't clear it they'll dig into it so you're going to want to use some uh, slightly shorter bolts than the stock ones which is what i've done here and that's ready to go on right so that's it all wired up and ready to test um even with my sp smaller bolts, it still didn't clear that plastic. So as you can see, hopefully, I've added some washers in there and now it does clear the plastic. Um, hopefully you can see that. For the wiring, uh, the stock fan has a two pin connector and the Noctura, whatever it's called, is a three pin. So you have to cut the cable off the old fan. Um, and then basically, where is it? Uh, oh yeah. If, if you can see in there, that, that plug is a ball ache to reach, by the way, unless you have really skinny fingers, which mine are quite thin, but even I struggled. Um, so yeah, the two pin plugs in there, and then, as you can see here, I've used... You basically um, cut the connector off the extension cable that comes with the fan which is also a three pin connector so you cut that off and then you 
basically splice the wires together and then you can either use electrical tape or uh, heat shrink or both which is what I've done. I've got electrical tape under there and also some heat shrink. Um, I know that looks like a, a frayed electrical wire but it's not. It's, it's fabric where I've cut the uh, insulator thing back a little bit. It's just fabric. So yeah, they're together. Really, if I, if I could be bothered, I would solder it. I've done loads of soldering in the past, but I can't really be asked. Um, if it ever fails, I'll take it all apart, cut all this shit off, and then just solder them together. But there's the extension cable, so I just need to cable tie that together and then stick it down um, with... I also noticed that isn't stuck down, which it should be, but they use cheap fucking glue gun stuff in the factory. So a really good tape to stick stuff like that down is Gorilla Tape. Just buy some, it's really really good and hard wearing. It's almost like a fabric material and it's brilliant for stuff like this. So anyway, it's all together. Um, the wheel is on force, forced cooling mode. So just make sure nothing's blocking the fan. Alright, let's plug it in and see if it works. I've actually got my room fan on as well, which I've just turned off now. That's what that background noise was. Um, plug that in, and then I need my USB cable. Uh, got one hand here. God, what a mess. Right, final checks just to make sure all looks good. In before the uh, whole thing just explodes. Let's see. And there you go. Fan is working. Good stuff. Not a whole lot of airflow, but I guess when the case is on, uh, the airflow would be more directed. Wow, that is quiet. I'll give you a listen. I don't even know if you can hear that. Um, that is whisper quiet. Make sure the arrows are pointing this way towards the heat sink on the motor. Just disconnect that now. So yeah, just need to cable tidy all this stuff so it's all neat and out of the way. I was going to do some maintenance on this while I had it apart, but there's grease on here already. I don't see the point in adding any. I was going to add some silicon spray, but it all looks good. Um, the only minor thing is the internal of the case has a, a light spattering of dust, so I'll wipe that off and then just reassemble. There's plenty of grease in there as well, as you can see. Um, so yeah, all in all, easy mod to do, really. That's secure as fuck. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it. That should by far outlast this piece of shit as well. Um, I'll just throw that one away. There's the details of that particular fan, if you're interested. Um, it's like a pound shop thing, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get this all together and uh, enjoy the wheel. So, hope this helps. I know there's a really good video on YouTube already, like, basically thoroughly explaining how to do this, which I'll watch before I did this. But um, there's no, like, talking involved, and there's no real close-ups of how it all kind of fits together. So, hopefully this helps someone. Just make sure you, you plug the new fan in before you mount it because it overhangs and it makes it even harder to plug it in if you don't. And I use some, uh, my fingers just couldn't reach, so I use some needle nose pliers just like these. Um, just be mindful of the wires. You can basically push it in the, the slot on the motherboard and then you can sort of reach your pinky in there and push it all the way down so it makes connection. And that's it. Cheers.